I saw two sons losing their mom in less than like three hours. The way he was screaming in the same burial land, I went to a corner. I just sat. I kept my camera aside. I'm like, I'm done. For like half an hour, forty minutes, and someone has to. Someone came and are you okay and everything? I was like, no, sir. I am not okay. No, I don't want to see all these things. Kaushik Jain. He is a senior photojournalist with the Indian publication Bangalore Mirror. You just heard him say that he doesn't want to see the tragedy that the second coming of the pandemic has unleashed on India. And yet, he is standing on a cliff overlooking a cremation ground 30 to 40 kilometers away from the city of Bengaluru because that's his assignment for the day. That's his job. He and his camera go wherever the news is, which in the past one year has taken him to bus stands and highways full of migrants trying to get home somehow, to hospitals where thousands have lost their parents, siblings and spouses to the novel coronavirus, and to crematoriums and burial grounds, which are terribly running out of space. These visuals, this reality, it's all heart-wrenching to watch. So how do photojournalists like Kaushik work through them day after day? And two days back when I went to uh, another cremation land, uh, all the uh, cremating, all the more than 100 bodies been burnt in a very small place. And it was dark and I'm walking. I can actually see the skeletons out there. Half burnt, full burnt. As I'm walking, there are bodies. As I'm walking, there are bodies. At one point of time, I was literally, I could see that I'm in the dark. All I can see was fire. Everywhere, just fire. So yeah, at times I go through such trauma. But again, I'll get back saying that, no, I have to do. I have to do. But many times, being honest, many times I feel like quitting. There's a lot of anger also, depression also. I want to tell someone, I don't want to see this anymore. You know, I don't want any son to lose the mom, any daughter to lose the father. I don't want any sibling to lose his other sibling. I don't want friends to lose friends anymore. I don't know how to tell whom to tell, how to share. I don't know. I feel very shattered at times. And actually, in some point of time, I did laugh in Burial Grounds. When I was thinking, hey, save that place for me. You know, I'm going to come there. Kaushik has been a photojournalist for close to 15 years. He has covered crime, protests and everything in between. But he says the pandemic has been the toughest assignment of his career. This is the first time ever I'm uh, having such, uh, you know, thing that uh, entering and exiting crematoriums and staying inside for like four hours, five hours. I get calls for help. I get a lot of uh, calls uh, asking for uh, beds or oxygen and saying that one of my relative is positive and some of my friends call me, they are positive and a lot of uh, people call me and say he expired, he expired, she expired. So this is my day starts and I don't know what time, you know better, so I don't know what time where I'll be uh, and what time I go home. So I tell home that I come by home by 9 o'clock for dinner but I'll end up going at 3 a.m. So I'm going around lockdown alone. Everything's closed when you're hungry, you don't get anything to eat. When you're thirsty, you don't get water to drink. You will carry, but of course not like 10 liters or 15 liters. No? Just one liter, it's very difficult. Before I had a fear of accidents because of the potholes or whatever. I had the fear of that. Now this is the new fear and that's the new normal actually now. I, I feel like every day I see them, I say bye in such a way that it's the last bye. Whatever. At the time of this interview, at least 155 journalists in India had died of COVID-19. Does that not scare Kaushik? Given that journalists are going about their job with one mask, maybe two, sometimes a glove on, but almost never a PPE to prevent them from contracting the deadly virus. 32-year-old Kaushik hasn't even received a jab yet because it's only recently that the Indian government opened the vaccination for people in the age group of 18 to 45. 
but now after seeing the count of 156 i feel maybe i'm the next i'll be 157 or 158 tired tired of being angry tired of being sad you know tired of all the emotions you know covering this every day koshik doesn't only feel hopeless but also helpless to protect his parents and wife from the second wave of infections he has isolated himself in the gym room in his home still if things go out of control will he be able to help his family given all his connections that's a big fear just to reach out to the ambulance we had to make like 15 calls i'm seeing this every day you're not able to help anyone and maybe one day we can't even help ourselves despite the gloom inside and outside of him koshik has kept going one because he loves his job and two exercising keeps his mind strong but he says he really wants a break from the pandemic I want to keep my bike mobile watch shoe camera everything on me except clothes keep everything on a road and just walk the road which takes you